Hello, everyone, and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Now, <laughs> as a woman myself, natural born, right? I find it kind of funny and very sad that a lot of the movements, the strategies, the tactics, the laws, the systems, whatever, a lot of those things that we try to utilize to get over and to take advantage of men are now coming back to bite us in our rear ends. A lot of those things are coming back to haunt us. It backfired. And one of those things that has absolutely backfired on us was the Me Too movement. All right. Now, let me go ahead and make this disclaimer and say this. Are there victims? Yes. Are there women out there that have gone through very traumatic and unfortunate situations? Absolutely. However, we would be very disingenuous to pretend as though a lot of females did not utilize that movement to their advantage to try to get money out of men, to try to blackmail. You name it, they've tried it. Okay? And now it's to the point to where men are like, you know what? I have to go into protection mode. I have to make sure that I am going to be looking out for myself because I already know the games, the tactics, the strategies that these females will try to utilize against me to once again, take advantage and get ahead. Now, we're being presented with a very sticky situation to where we're getting older, we're wanting to be pursued, we're wanting to settle down, we're wanting men to want us, go after us, and they're not. And it is because, once again, they are in protective mode. I have got to make sure that I am looking out for myself because I already know, as a man, they already know. They live in a system and in a world and a society, a community where, you know, it just was always favoring the woman. I mean, that's the way to put it plainly. Okay. Believe all women. Doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense. Doesn't matter if she doesn't have any evidence to back up her claims. If the woman said it, it's law. And so with knowing this, a lot of men were like, okay, I understand that. Um, let me move differently. Let me move wisely. Let me be more strategic with my approaches, the things that I do, the things that I say. And now we're feeling that, ladies. Now we want men to touch us and they won't. Now we want men to flirt with us and they won't. We want compliments they don't give them. Why? Because you have utilized a system of movement, all of these tactics, strategies, you name it, against them. The most innocent of compliments, gestures, interactions, you all have weaponized it against these men. And now you want them to flirt with you and you want some play and you're not getting it. And now you're upset. Now you're mad. Now you're in your feelings. Now men are not men anymore. Now men are too scary. You created this. You or a lot of women out there have created the situation to where men are viewing every woman like a potential predator. There's no other way to put it. Before I get accused of doing something that I know that I did not do, I will back away. I will keep my hands to myself, my compliments to myself, 
my approaches to myself. That's another thing a lot of females are upset about. Why? Why don't men approach women anymore? Would you? If you could potentially lose your job, use your source of income, lose your life, get locked up, have your reputation smeared and dragged through the mud, would you approach somebody? Would you flirt? Would you give a harmless, innocent compliment? Would you make a move? Probably not. And once again, now we're upset. Now we're mad. I came across this video, right? And when I did, I said, you know what? <laughs> this is what we get, ladies. This is what we get. This is what you all get for trying to finesse the system. This is what you all get for trying to get over, take advantage, be predatory. This is what you get, man. Let me say this before I go ahead and play the video. Okay. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I don't care what these females say, right? When it comes to the men that we are interested in, that we take a strong liking to, um, that we want to be with, we absolutely, all right, want um, those men to pursue us. We want those men to flirt with us. If he's attractive, oh yeah, flirt with me, baby. Hell, go ahead and touch my shoulder and go ahead and touch my kneecap and, you know, whatever. Go ahead and, you know, touch my chin, you name it. Women, we like that. All right. We like those things. It makes us feel wanted, desired, sexy, attractive. It makes us feel good when a man is pursuing us, when a man is letting us know that he finds us to be physically attractive and appealing, mentally attractive and appealing. It's being flirtatious. We like that. Okay. It's just that a lot of these females use those things that we liked to try to finesse the system and get over in ahead, right? So when it came to men flirting with us, touching us, you know, nothing predatory, okay? But men, you know, giving light little touches and letting us know that he's interested. You know, we like that, but since we saw an avenue that we could take to take advantage, we used it. Oh, you mean to tell me if a man compliments me that I can say that he's actually harassing me and get money out of said man? Oh, you mean to tell me that if a man walks up to me and, you know, taps my shoulder, whatever. I can say that, yeah, you know, he assaulted me. Oh my God, okay. Let me go ahead and use that. Even if she knew that that was not the intention, that was not what he was doing, they very much so exaggerated and hyped it up once again to finesse. Even when it came to the men that they actually did like. Let's go there for a second and y'all like the video. And I'm, I'm going to break it down for a second. We have a whole video I want to go through. It was so bad with the finesse that a lot of females were even setting up the guys that they actually liked to get money. That was the double-edged sword to it all. Because let's not get it twisted. 
when it comes to men that we're attracted to that we like yeah we don't mind if you touch a little bit we don't mind if you flirt a little bit we don't mind a compliment we don't mind any of that we like it again it makes us feel desired sexy wanted attractive it's in our nature like come on but although we like those things we saw a way to use that same thing that we liked to get ahead and so this is where you have that conflict of interest going on well i do like him and i didn't mind him touching me for real and i didn't mind him flirting with me for real and i didn't mind but he got money and i could use this to my benefit and so yeah why not and so that is where the fabrications the false accusations you know all of that came into play because again a lot of females highly predatory and are looking for a bag looking for a bag to snag let's be real and again we already know that there are true victims to where she did not like it she did not invite it she did not want it and this man did something to her we're not talking about that we know that that occurs however let's not be disingenuous and act like a lot of females did not see a finesse tactic So now here we have an issue because the very things that we like for men to do that we are attracted to, that we do want to be with, they're not doing those things because so many females in the past, even present day, are using those same things as weapons. I can't compliment you. I can't flirt with you. I can't touch you innocently and flirtatiously. I can't make a move, even though you want me to. Because I don't know what you're going to do with that. Let's play the video. Back in the days, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. It might be on the first date, it might be the third day, whatever. It right. could be the man, it could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they're waiting. It's the third date, fourth date, a week later. He hasn't gone in for the kiss. He doesn't do any touching or anything. And I've asked my dude friends that are single. Right. And they are like, you don't know where a woman's going to go with that story. Where I ain't touching nobody. And it kind of, it sucks because the Me Too movement is so strong and so, so powerful for the people that need it. But it shouldn't ruin the maturity that we should have within intimacy and relationship. We got to play that again. We got to play that again. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. This is some real talk. We are feeling this, ladies. Y'all are feeling this, ain't y'all? You got a guy that you really like and, hey, you want to go to the next level. But he is so afraid due to the way that y'all have abused the system and used things against them. You ain't even going to get there. Let's play it again. Y'all feeling it, ain't y'all? Back in the days, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. It might be on the first date, it might be the third date, whatever. It right. could be the man, it could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. Oh! The man's supposed to chase us. The man's supposed to pursue us. The man's supposed to do this. The man makes the first move. The man's supposed to do that. Now the men are like, nah, I ain't doing none of that. I ain't doing none of that. If you want me, you come get me. See how everything keeps backfiring on y'all? See, for a long time, it's been this ongoing narrative of, once again, the man pursues the woman. The man makes the first move. 
The man goes in for the kiss. The man does all of these grand things for the woman, right? But when you all boil it down, it comes down to the man is the one that is the initiator. But do too. A lot of y'all females being on nonsense. Men are now placing you into a position to where you have to do everything that you expect for the man to do. Congratulations, you did this. We keep setting up these very circumstances that we complain about. Oh, why, why don't the men do this anymore? The man's supposed to do that. The man's supposed to do this first. Well, thanks to you, they're not. Because they have to protect themselves. They have to look out for themselves because they don't know what you're going to do. Men don't trust women today. And rightfully so. You can think that a woman really is into you, really likes you. You can think that it's innocent. She's giving you the green light. And then next thing you know, she's on the news crying, talking about, oh my God, I just cannot believe he flirted with me and he touched me and he, like what? So yeah, even if a guy is like, you know what? I think that she likes me. I think we're, we're hitting it off great. I feel like everything is going good. You know, I feel like if I did make a move, it would be consensual. And I don't think that she would have a problem with it. Men are still like, I better not. Because once again, I saw how that played out in the past. This same girl over here was doing that to a guy and I thought that once again it was all good I thought that it was smooth sailing and then turn out that she tried to paint the narrative of oh he did this to me and you know he was now you're crying and it's like damn like if she could do that to him and I saw the interaction I saw the exchange ain't no telling what could happen to me so yeah, even if a guy does feel like everything is going smoothly and he really likes you and he feels like you're being inviting towards him and all of that, they're still skeptical. But again, ladies, y'all did that. We keep complaining about the same things that we create. Congratulations. Y'all always talking about why aren't men men anymore? But are you asking yourself, what did you do to contribute to men not being men anymore? Oh, well, I can't pursue a woman anymore because then that could backfire on me. I can't flirt with a woman anymore because then that can backfire on me. I, I can't compliment a woman anymore because then she'll say that I'm harassing her. It's so bad that men can't even have consensual sex with a female without having it in the back of his mind that I wonder if she's going to say, you know, it didn't really go down like that. It's that bad out here. And y'all are mad and upset that men are not making the first move. Now you, ma'ams, how to make the first move. Now you, ma'ams, how to compliment the men. Now you, ma'ams, how to go out there and pursue and quote unquote chase the men. Y'all did that. Congratulations. Men are only moving wisely and strategically due to the things that you have set in place against them. They're only responding. Let's continue and y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. All my girlfriends are like, they're waiting. It's the third date, fourth date, a week later. He hasn't gone in for the kiss. He doesn't do any touching or anything. And I've asked my dude friends that are single. Right. And they are like, you don't know where a woman's going to go with that story. Anymore. I ain't touching nobody. And it kind of, it sucks because the Me Too movement is so strong and so, so powerful for the people that need it. But it shouldn't ruin the maturity that we should have within intimacy and relationship. And that's facts. That's facts. For the people who need it, great. 
but a lot of females abused it. Let's just call it what it is. Y'all keep taking everything and tainting it. Y'all tainted relationships. Y'all tainted marriage. Y'all tainted men pursuing women. Everything you've tainted. Why? Because you wanted to use it to your advantage. Now look at you complaining. Don't be mad at men for moving smart. Don't be mad at men because they're trying to look out for themselves because they understand the climate. Don't be mad at men now because now you have to do what a man does. You got to go and make the first move. You have to talk to the man. You got to flirt with the man. You got to compliment the man. Hell, you got to make the first move, don't you, ma'am? And men are even skeptical about that because they don't know, you know, if you will turn it around on them. Like, okay, but she touched me first. It doesn't matter. So all the way around, this is just trash. And I hate this for y'all. I really do. Because I know what it is to be a woman and liking to be pursued, liking to be desired and wanted. Liking to be touched. Ooh, y'all ain't getting none of that. <laughs> Not even from the men that you want. Because they too are afraid. They too have to second guess and question every little interaction. Oh, I don't know. But once again, this is the reality that you all created. I know that as women, we like to be flirted with and we like compliments and, you know, I, I know we want a man to make the first move on us and things of that sort because it can feel awkward for us or whatever. So we absolutely want the man that we like or is interested in to go in for the first move, the first kiss, the first touch. The first pursuit, we like that. But that is becoming obsolete and a thing of the past due to you all's ways and actions. Let me ask y'all a question, all right? And y'all like the video once again, share the video, subscribe. And most importantly, you all, make sure that you all are hitting that notification bell, all right? But let me go ahead and ask a question. And I already know a lot of my brothers are in the building, so we can just ask them directly. Put a one in the chat, right? If you are one of those men out there that are now a little bit skeptical about pursuing a woman, making the first move, flirting, giving compliments, put a one if you are skeptical now about doing all of that. All right. Put a two in the chat. If it's like, no, it doesn't affect me in that way. I still make the first move. I still compliment women. I still go after women. Y'all let me know. All right. But a lot of guys out there from what I've witnessed, they're leaning more towards being skeptical about it, being very, you know, hesitant about doing certain things due to the fact that a lot of women just have ulterior motives. You don't know what you're going to get. Even if you do feel like everything is going great. Even if you do feel like she wants you back. I just don't know. But I'm going to ask y'all. Put a one if you're skeptical. Put a two if it's, it's not something that's bothering you. You still do it. Okay. But yeah, ladies, like this is going to be an ongoing thing. And as long as we keep weaponizing things and using things against men, you can continue to expect for men to be more um, reserved, pull back, not pursue you, not talk to you, not compliment you, not flirt with you, not date you, not marry you, not procreate with you. Just, just know that that is the reality that we are setting up for ourselves due to us being manipulative, being controlling 
trying to get over, just know everything is now coming back to backfire and haunt us. Congratulations. We keep playing ourselves. And let me say this before I wrap this up. All right. A lot of women in general, I, I should make the distinction. I'm going to say females because it's different between women and females. A lot of females are so caught up in the here and now that they're not thinking about how things can play out moving forward. All they're thinking about is, hey, I can get a quick buck out of this. I can get some popularity out of this. But they're not thinking about, oh, maybe in the future, when it comes to the men that I really want to be with, he may not want to pursue me. He may not want to marry me. He may not want to make the first move. He may not want to do X, Y, and Z due to him feeling like I could, again, be a predator and use it against him. We're not thinking about the future. All we think about is right here, right now, I can use this. And look at you now. And like I said, it's going to continue to happen as long as y'all continue to do these things. Be manipulative. Be cutthroat. Be liars. And it's so bad, I'm going to be honest with you. Even if we're not continuing to do these type of things, We've done so much damage that it's already deeply embedded into the man's mind that you can't do it anymore. I can't compliment. I can't pursue. I can't make the first move. I, I can't. I just can't do it. Even if we were to all change and turn everything around today, it is so deeply rooted and embedded into the man's mind that we cannot be trusted. It may just be too damn late, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Y'all let me know your thoughts, y'all opinions, y'all feedback down below, um, your experience as well, right? Have you as a man gone through something like this to where everything was great and she lied on you, right? Y'all let me know. Ladies, are you going through this situation to where you're wanting a man to pursue you or make the first move, but he's not doing it? Y'all let me know, okay? I would love to hear from all of you all. But uh, again, you all, like the video, share the video, subscribe, and most importantly, hit that notification bell. That way you all can be alerted for future dope discussions. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one, all right? Much love and peace to my crown head.